Okay, aloha everybody. This is demo number two. I got my drawings of the petroglyphs. I want to transfer to my bigger Tyvek painting here. And I got my Tyvek um, fastened down to the table with like a milk crate and a box of pens just so that I'm outdoors so the wind doesn't blow out, blow away my Tyvek material on this table. So these drawings are going to be in that format. It's a bunch of petroglyphs swimming because that's what I want to be doing right now. And that's the story I want to put on the Tyvek here in this dark maroon area in the background above the Miley leaf. Um, some materials. I got my paint. Some I darkened some of it. And it's what I call magenta. And I got some white paint. Um, so yeah. Let me get some other supplies here. I got my some white paint. My chip brush. My handy one inch chip brush. That I can cut some clean lines with. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to... No, take the dark color and I want to mix a pink so I start off with a lot of white first and just take a small dab of the pink or magenta or red to make a pink color I want to do pink on top of this magenta as the color of my petroglyphs something that gives contrast and we study contrast in class and it's basically something that makes something stand out so let me check out my petroglyphs in my drawing as reference. I'm going to have them swimming. I've turned the Tyvek horizontally to make it easier so you guys can see a bigger area of what I'm going to paint. So I'm going to drop down the first line here of a female petroglyph that's going to be swimming. And I'm sorry, part of it goes off the camera there. I'm going to draw the line of her chest and some arms, a little tiny hand. Grab some more paint here. Now you'll notice the paint consistency that I try to get. What I tell all of my students is the consistency that we want mixed paint to be is not too watery, but the consistency of like a wet yogurt <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna try and do a little head here it's kind of small I'm gonna do a little part of her arm the swimming do some swimming action here because the stories that we're trying to tell with our petroglyphs or whatever drawings in the backgrounds is what is our favorite things to do or what we would rather be doing instead of being locked indoors with the COVID situation. I'm going to do some water lines here. Let's get some H2O. We're in the Pacific. Let's do maybe a shorter water line there. And you know, I'm, a part of this is being in water, is, there's going to be some bubbles. So... I'm going to try to paint with some bubbles. It's a little bit hard actually to do with this chip brush to get a perfect circle. So I turn it around and use the point edge of it to try to get a dot there. It's a little bit harder. But uh, let me get, uh, you know, let's get those smaller brushes that we shipped out to you folks in the original packets. I think that will help to get these details down on your Tyvek. So I got uh, one of the smaller flat brushes. I got some more water here. I forgot to say we need water and your brushes and some paper towels or a rag. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned that earlier. Here's that brush. See how large it is or much smaller it is compared to the chip brush. So I'm starting to notice it's starting to get a little bit more detailed. So that's why I bust out the smaller brushes. This one should do. So dab it in water first. Let's get it wet, but not too much water. 
getting the bristles wet helps us ease the paint onto our Tyvek material. Let me look at the reference here of the petroglyphs I'm going to do. It's always good to reference it. And that's why we have you do all these drawings. And I'm going to do a fish. Let's do maybe some... This would be a fish. Super simple petroglyph form. And I notice, oh, it's it's a little bit too much white. So I'm going to get a little dab of red or magenta to get it a little bit darker, to get a darker pink in here. So you notice I don't really grab a lot of paint. It's just a small little dab. And then I'm... Make sure that I don't spill the paint on top of the Tyvek. Oh yeah, there we go. I like this color better. Let's do another fish. So the fish definitely is an icon. As soon as people see this, they'll notice, hey, we're underwater. There we go. And you might find with pink or doing lighter colors on top of dark colors, you might have to paint the stroke or paint your stuff two times to get a little bit more opaque look. Let's get some more bubbles in here. There we go. It's a, to portray that we're underwater. Let's get a little bit more red into the... Let's get a rounder bubble here. I couldn't get the roundness with those chip brushes or the chip brush. So if you find yourself needing to be getting more detail, get just get a smaller brush. The smaller brush is actually going to do the job for you. There we go. I'm going to do a little inside of the mama head there. And then I notice uh, I think I want to thicken up the lines here. So let's just go for it, just thicken up the lines, get it a little bit more thicker. I just realized you can't see this area because it's off camera, so hey, call am I, I'm sorry. Not the, I'm actually doing a voiceover for a video, and when I do these videos, I just let the camera run. I'm actually not looking through a lens or a monitor to actually double check what the camera is filming, so hey, call am I if... Some of my, my painting is off camera right now. But notice, you can notice how the water and these lighter lines are showing what we call in art a good contrast or difference in value or difference in lightness and darkness. That's what we want to see in all of our Hamona paintings. This, so you notice also the brush I'm using gets it nice and clean sharp edges I'm gonna redo this fish here and get it a little bit darker and notice how I'm mixing it to be a little bit darker I want to get that what I call liquid yogurt consistency get it a little bit darker super simple yeah There we go. Let's get it a little bit darker pink. Okay. And I was hoping this would be a short video, but it's actually going to probably turn out to be a 15-minute video. So if you, if you guys don't get it, just feel free to scrub through it. Some parts might be a little bit boring, or some parts you're, you and your kids might know already. So I'm not offended if you just scrub through this video. Let me just move the camera here to a bigger area that we're going to get some more. I'm going to do another Kane petroglyph swimming here. Let me look at my reference. Yep. Okay, now I know what to do. So you notice I'm always looking back and forth to my original drawing or what my blueprint plan is. Let me get some more water here. Sorry, I didn't tell you at the beginning of the video we always want to make sure we have a cup of water for what I call gray water in our paint. I'm gonna start to notice there's too much paint on my brush. So I use the paper towel to get that 
off of the brush. So once in a while, you know, we gotta clean our brushes. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch brushes, and I'm gonna go for the bigger chip brush again. So I notice I wet it. Let's get a nice consistency of that liquid yogurt. You get a dab of darker to make it a little bit darker. Let's get that liquid yogurt consistency or texture. And I notice I kind of put too much. So, oh yeah, and I, it's too liquidy also. Too much water in there. So it's also good to sometimes just use the edge and clean off the brush and start all over to load up the brush and how much paint that it needs. Okay, so you notice the angle that I'm hitting with this brush is I'm holding it so that we get a nice sharp thin edge and then when I draft it to the left I kind of turned it at an angle to get a thicker line and that's the beauty of these chip brushes is you can differentiate the weight or how thick the line will be I'm going to make this thing diagonal similar to the Vahine swimmer down below on the lower right let's get a bigger thicker chest here of this nice buff muscular Kane here done in petroglyph form <laughs> there we go right on okay let me do this other leg he's kind of swimming so his leg on the right is going to be higher We're going at that same angle Get the arm, extend the arm a little. Right now, let's get some more. Let's get the hand in there. Not enough paint, so I load the brush up a little bit more with paint. And yeah, to reiterate myself, or you know, this is. I don't want you folks to copy my petroglyphs exactly. You don't have to. Actually, I want you and your your Kiki and all of the students out there to actually just do their own. It doesn't even have to be petroglyphs. But we want you to tell your own story of what you would rather be doing in the background or in the big shapes of this Tyvek material. What would you rather be doing during these COVID times? Or what's your favorite thing to be doing right now? I'm going to clean off this brush again here in what I call the gray water. Notice how I'm just wiping off the excessive paint, making sure I don't drip it also on the Tyvek. And then lastly, let's take that paper towel or rag and clean off the brush. Because I'm pow with it. I'm done with it. No, this is what it looks like when it's all clean. Right on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to the thinner brush. That one of these Daiso brushes that we sent you for the everyday painting with our painting lessons. And I noticed I couldn't get the head because that chip brush was just too big. So I'm going back to the smaller brush to get that detail of the head of this Kane man swimmer there we go so show some nice contrast nice clean lines against the darker what I call maroon or magenta background color and for a little information I actually use the 2 inch brush that I sent you all you can also use the larger 3 inch brush to I kind of did a, a wash of actually what I did to darken the red was I used green and that's actually what muted it and made it darker to make that darker red in the background here we go I'm gonna add some more water lines to symbolize we're in the water or we're underwater mm -hmm. kind of looks a little a little too light so I'm gonna add a little bit more darker pink here There we go. Maybe let's add another water line. 
with just one stroke or two strokes of it. There we go. There we go. And maybe some bubbles. Oops. Some dirt's in the way. There we go. So with the smaller brushes, we can get some nice dots or patterning done on the Tyvek. Yeah. Definitely looks like we're underwater now. Or swimming. Oh yeah, and let's get another fish. Swim along with fish. If this would only happen in real life, you swim along with fish. Usually if you go swimming or diving, the fish all run away or they swim away. <laughs> there we go. And a little bit more of a water line to symbolize we're in water. We're in the Pacific. We're in Oceania. Okay, let's get a little bit darker pink. And I'm going to do darker strokes of pink. There we go. Doesn't necessarily have to match the other pink. You know, it's this is all freestyle. We make it up. And just however you're feeling, you know, feel free to add some details. I'm going to add some bubbles for the little fish guy here. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, let's get a little cleanup on the lines in the bottom here. I want to get that also darker. I just noticed that you can't notice on camera, but the lines actually almost look white. And I wanted to do what I call in art terminology something that looks monochromatic of red slash magenta pink all come from the red hue or magenta which is one of the larger background colors of the mural so you might notice that my red or my magenta looks different from the colors that you have. I actually wasn't sent the actual paint package that Uncle Estria gave us. Oh, one last thing is um, I'm going to clean off my brush. So remember, when you're pile, when you're finished, always clean up. And I'm going to zoom away here so you can actually see how my entire Tyvek looks like. Let me move this so it don't, doesn't spill. If you remember my first video, I actually just blocked in the Miley leaves. And I forgot to paint the bottom there, so I still got to do that. I wanted to get the same background color. So that's pretty much what my entire um, Tyvek material looks like. There you go. Aloha, ahui ho, 